John, um, teach the robot to pick up a plate, and I'll be typing the language, so Sergio will be typing in the commands here. So now we'll put the same plate for now, but in a different configuration, rotated and translated. And so now we'll ask it to pick up the plate. Um, there we go. Pick up the plate. All right. Yeah. And the green one is the one. Well, it's kind of old. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the new one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Old. And that is the isomorphism between. Additives. None of the demos you've seen so far have had any touch sensing. So while Peter was giving his talk, we uh, augmented the PR2 with some touch sensors. And the game we're going to play with it now is to present it with some objects and ask it to uh, tell us how these objects feel. And so I guess we'll just start um, with this is a red satin pillowcase. I'll let you touch it after the robot has had a chance to. Two uh, pipelines running in the background. The first answer is it feels compressible, squishy, smooth. So those are the ones that has the highest confidence on. I'll let pass this around. You all should squeeze it and feel it. Try not to rely too much on what it looks like. And just feel with your fingers. Also, maybe, maybe rough, compact, nice, and sticky. Those are lower confidence additives. And then we have a different pipeline and this other pipeline. And I'll talk more about what's on the back end. They're kind of different. So hey, it could be sticky, squishy, compressible, and smooth. So object. It feels hard, solid, and stiff. So I'll pass this around. What do you think? Hard, solid, and stiff. That's pretty good. And also maybe compact, smooth, compressible robot. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> really?
What? So are you filming me? Everything no, no. is working. No, no. I have no idea. Is the magic happening? Yeah, but this is... Okay, I'll just... Just drive the robot away from this...